Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're installing a Bonafide P127 Sidekick cart. So you're gonna need a 3 16 Allen branch and then a just plain Phillips number one, I believe the size is, uh, screwdriver. And so what they started off doing first was in taking this center bar and installing these two red sleeves. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure the pre-drilled holes right here are going to be facing each other whenever you slide it onto this bar and then you're going to want to back it off about an inch which is right there you'll take the 3 16th uh, little hex screw insert put that on the innermost it can only fit inside one of these holes so you put that one on the innermost hole and all we're going to do is just kind of snug it down you don't want to tighten it because if we need to make adjustments then we can do that later on. So we'll do the same thing on this side right over here. So we're just gonna repeat the process with making sure that we have an inch worth of space that we backed off. There we are. Um, you wanna make sure that both sides are lined up. So the pre-drilled holes are both at the uppermost. Let's put this right over here. We're gonna start our knuckle installation on the starboard side and that's the bonafide facing forward. You can see how there's two pre-drilled holes right there facing inward, and the single one is gonna be outward, so we're gonna throw this one right here and essentially use these two holes, and then we'll do the exact opposite with the sidekick facing towards the bow. The two holes that are pre-drilled are gonna be facing inward, just like that, facing each other, and then the single hole right there facing outboard on both sides just for the sake of time I'm going to show you all how to install this portion you'll take the gear tracks slide them in right here you will take the other one throw it in there as well now pay attention to how that is beveled right there so you will want the funnel portion facing upwards so that it's easier for the screw to actually go in line up these two outside holes right there then you'll take the Phillips screw and then a washer lay it down right there and then thread the Phillips screw on both sides just make this like snug again you're not gonna want to tighten it down because we're gonna do some adjusting later on and you're gonna repeat this for both sides now that we have both of these knuckles installed, we're gonna take and place the center piece inside them. So we'll slide this one forward, right there. Push this one backwards. Take the red piece. Again, you wanna make sure that this is facing straight up so that it can line up with the holes right there. So we'll slide that in. Move this a little bit forward. Raise it up. Now, if your kayak is like mine, these gear tracks are angled downwards like that on both sides. So you're gonna take a little bit of force to actually push it up and make it line up with the knuckle over here. All right, Woo! took a little bit of force right there. Next step is to get all of this hardware out of the way. So I'm gonna take these locking pins and actually place them on the hole right here. So you'll take the screw, the lock washer, and then the actual flat washer piece attached to the cable on the locking pin. Right now we're just gonna finger tighten it. I just wanna get that out of the way. And then this is gonna go right up here, finger tighten, because we'll still need to make some adjustments. This other one over here to this side and then we're gonna repeat this on the other side. It's time to mount these legs. We're gonna do the starboard side first. There is a correct way to do this. One leg will not go on the opposite side after taking a look at it. So we'll take the starboard side leg and right here you can see the two holes as the leg is facing straight up and down. So right there is deployed. The wheels are gonna be down under the kayak and then I don't know what that one is for right there. Maybe we'll find out later on. But right there, that's in the stored position. So 
That's the way I'm gonna do it because I don't have my kayak on a cart. So when you put it in the stored position right there, you'll notice that it's angled upwards. That's because the wheel, whenever you install this, I took off the little valve cover, that has to be facing outward. So that's gonna go on just like this right here. And there we go. The valve stem is coming outwards and then you install that right there. So now when we push this all the way in, right there, you can see that the wheel is actually able to rest right alongside the kayak. That was why the little red piece inside there was off-centered a little bit. To lock the wheel in place, we're gonna take this locking pin. So we're gonna go through the bottom side right there, push it through, and then bend up that locking right there. And it just basically clamps down just like that. And we're gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side. Push that in. There we go. Right here at this portion, it's all just about lining everything up before you tighten down. So all I'm gonna do is just stare at it, make sure that I have equal spacing on that center bar. I don't want too much support being to the left or to the right. And then we need to make sure that we have plenty of clearance for these wheels to go out, down, back in and lock. So hopefully that makes sense to y'all. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you wanna see what's going on with this P127 as it pertains to the Texas Gulf Coast, well then hit the subscribe button. Until next time, tight lines y'all.